My name is Rohit Kumar, and today we are going to discuss about another very important research domain, whose name is big data. So, considering the focus of big data, as you can see on the screen also, that uh, different dimensions of big data and so many fancy figures are listed here. Now, it is just to give you a basic glimpse or the basic idea about that what big data really is. So, as the name itself conveys the message that big data means the data which is very big in size means an enormous amount of data and usually this sort of data gets available or gets stored only because of some repetitive activity that might be due to the monitoring or some collection or might be some observation in this way so wherever the periodical assessment monitoring or the analysis or sort of uh, collection of data is happening, then there becomes a repository of sort of big data. So for example, the most common example is your social sites, like uh, on YouTube, so many videos are available and video size is usually higher than the audio clips or any sort of text or something like that. So in this way, YouTube has way bigger data available at its repository then in comparison to wikipedia normal uh, your other multimedia as well as the audio video, audio video sites okay now coming to the text and speech recognition because speech is also a very powerful term but uh, again audio is not a fully multimedia uh, medium and that's why here you can see that uh, as i'm speaking right now so my voice is there in this video so there is some visual context is there background is there and additionally, there is a written text over there. So everything is part of this video. So in this way, it is the true or the complete kind of multimedia package. But again, we should not say complete because there are multi forms of media. And in this way, when we say multimedia, it is a common term. But in actual, we cannot guarantee that all the components of the media are included in a particular video or not. Now coming down to big data analysis. So when we say big data, so what is big data? So uh, usually uh, whenever we are studying the concept of big data, then one common terms come into the picture that when there are too many domains, when there are too many data sets, when there are too many data processing applications, then should we say that their collection is big data? Yes, you can say. And if there is a single research domain, it means if there is a single application or software generating data, then can we say big data? Yes, you can say big data. Means big data is not bothered about your number of applications, your number of data sets, your number of applications or the kind of users. But point is, what is the amount of data that is big data? So if you are having enough uh, size uh, means uh, data means if you are considering that this data is two way bigger to handle and if you are thinking that I need to use some sort of processing tool to uh, make some sort of analytics out of this data and get some useful heuristic then obviously the data is good enough in amount but again what is the exact amount of data so it is not well defined because it might be differ uh, is it might differ from person to person application to application what is the definition of this big? But again, considering it's a subjectivity, there has to be some sort of limitation. So usually when we say that there are the trillions of data available, I mean trillions of trillions of bytes, okay, trillions of uh, MB, GB or something like that, then we usually say that it is the big data. And again, trillions of bit if you say, and again, you are considering a power sensitive device. So it's a big data for that device. So always there are some particular uh, subjective issues and there are always some boundary lines with respect to uh, whom who you have to talk that this particular data or this particular uh, information is coming in the domain of big data or not okay now point is when you are saying big data is there so again and again we are talking about this particular term but we are not defining it in scientific terms so let me define it big data refers to the data sets which are too large or complex to deal with in traditional way. In traditional way means in traditional data processing application software, in tra traditional data processing techniques, etc. So wherever you are using some sort of advanced tools and techniques to handle the available set of data or information, then you are using some sort of big data analytics. I think fair enough. You must have got the uh, reason that why we are saying that big data is the modern day technology and big data analysis 
has multiple challenges also for example you are supposed to capture the data then you are supposed to store it then you are supposed to analyze it additionally it is not only this means when you have the lots of data then finding a particular piece of information out of that data that is also difficult then sharing transferring visualization etc so many things are there and then we use so many different sorts of big data speci specialized tools and techniques for this particular handling and analysis now coming down to the research domain because we are uh, starting this particular uh, series of uh, research domain based um, focus of different uh, titles or the kind of uh, uh, areas where we are supposed to dig down more and to find the specific area or the domain to start our research so when we are saying that big data is a field where you uh, might work or which can be of potential uh, uses in future then obviously you are supposed to discuss that how many different authors or how many different countries have been exploring this particular means analytics side of big data or the big data related issues then uh, let me tell you that more than 170 plus countries have been consistently exploring this concept of big data and so many means 100,000 plus researchers have been consistently exploring this fact of big data. Now coming to that when we say big data, so first thing that if the country is populous, okay, like India or China, then by default they have big data issues because doesn't matter whether you are technologically advanced or not, you have some sort of data. For example, a person's record, if you have Aadhaar card, if you have some normal ration card or something like that, this is some sort of data. And if you are managing it at some sort of repository or at a central agency or something like that, then obviously there is some sort of big data and you need to explore it, you need to mine it, you need to consistently search it, you need to update it, store it, etc. So many challenges are there. Okay, in India, NIC has so many uh, servers and uh, they maintain different sorts of information related to the people of India. So in this way, similar way, all the countries have their uh, people's data, their track records, their different sorts of information. And all these information need to be processed in a particular way, depending on the certain kind of application. Now coming to the concept that uh, so many people, so many institutes are actively engaged. So what are the different topics in which they are actively engaged? So let me tell you that analytics is most important because whenever we say big data is there, so you need to mine it. Ultimately, why are you having it? it means why are you storing? Why are you keeping? Why are you monitoring? Why are you maintaining the data if you are not going to analyze it? Okay, because ultimately you need to take some sort of useful information out of this big chunk of data and that information is supposed to improve your uh, um, you may say that it may help to improve your system, your process or the future predictions about the country, about the people, about the processes, about different sorts of things. Okay, so certainly one thing is certain that wherever the big data problem is there means you need to manage it just for the sake of analytics. Ultimately, you are supposed to mine the big data and you need to get some useful information. So analytics is the very and the most common uses application of big data. Secondly, data science. Data science means again, you will say, sir, it is the same thing because of analytics means what? You are going to apply some sort of technique and then you are going to get some information that is analytics. But how to develop those techniques and tools to analyze your data better? That is a science. And that's why data science comes into picture. According to different type of data, you need to develop different sorts of tools and techniques. And that's why the data science is a very important domain nowadays. And there are so many data science jobs are supposed to be uh, in the future. In the near future means that data science is one of the top notch domain to explore. Additionally, uh, there are the concepts of MapReduce, etc. Means MapReduce is a very key word because uh, when you explore the concept of Hadoop, then this concepts of MapReduce comes. So MapReduce application and the algorithm is there that you need to map and then you need to reduce uh, the results to a particular uh, quantity. So in this way, when you come to MapReduce, it means it is a particular type you can say a algorithm or a method of data science, and then you can apply it. Now coming to application, because every science 
every technology and every sort of um, uh, research is supposed to get applied somewhere so there are so many applications like uh, we take the application of a smart city so in a smart city smart transportation is there smart healthcare is there smart grid is there so so many things are there which are supposed to be smart but how they'll become become smart we are saying means in one of our video we discussed about ai so much artificial intelligence but artificial intelligence will get applied on some data if you are using some sort of well-defined techniques there and those techniques will get developed only on the basis of some heuristic and that heuristic will come out of the analysis of some existing data so ultimately ultimately data is the basic need and that's why people do say that data is the new fuel okay data is the fuel of coming generations there is the fuel of new centuries so point is that data is there but again data is of no use if you don't have the right kind of techniques to mine it to analyze it so in this way big data becomes very important its analytics become very important its methods and sciences become very important its application become very important and ultimately all these things together are going to contribute in the field of artificial intelligence or some other uh, related application fields because data will help you to get more better output to get to take more better decisions etc okay so i think i have told you all the major related things with this additionally text mining then the digitization of data data warehousing to store the data then the uh, personal uh, data uh, industrial data healthcare data then uh, to process we need some sort of heavy powerful devices like supercomputer etc so the hardware side as well as the software side as well as the application side we need to see all sides of a particular technology or concept and then we are supposed to see that how many different topics or the domains are related with a particular thing so here you can see that so many different things are related with big data and if you are interested you can go for any of the related stream now coming to the story so obviously sql mysql no sql these sort of uh, technological terms are in the picture but that will be totally different domain if we go deep down into firstly we are going to focus in terms of research the research so we are going to discuss that what sort of funding agencies are uh, actively funding in this particular domain so european commission national science foundation then the engineering and uh, physical sciences research council ministry of science and technology then national institute of general medicine sciences national center for advancing translational service then the national institute of mental health etc so many institutes are uh, actively uh, pouring their money just to have the better science the better analysis the better insights from the existing big data now coming to the publication so actively and consistently the publications are on surge they are on now active note they are going in positive side and you may choose a number of different number of journals for your publication including ieee elsewhere springer wiley uh, uh, then uh, hindavi sage etc means that these are very common publishers now coming to that what sort of uh, journals you do have for big data so journal of big data then uh, art, uh, applied sciences the procedure computer science web of conferences then sustainability iwi access journal of physics journal of uh, sustainability then the big data wireless communications and mobile computing etc so many journals are there and uh, if you you want to go for particular sort of journals i am not going to name some of the transaction because there are transactions also related to big data but again people do think that transactions are the only thing no it is not like this you need to go for good journal whether it's a transaction or not and again to judge the criteria uh, to judge the quality of a journal you need to first see its indexing which should be sci or scie second thing it should be q1 or q2 and third thing it should it should have a good impact factor good impact factor means its uh, audience reach is good its uh, number of submitted document to this particular journal uh, are good in are insufficient number and third thing that more or the good number of citations are coming to the articles of that particular journal it means people are reading more so that is the thing but you should keep the impact factor at last because there are so many factors to influence the concept of impact factor 
now coming to the institutes so university of california system university of london howard university french national center for scientific research and uh, the one university singwa university university of north carolina university of oxford and uh, there are other uh, multiple means uh, in india also uh, iit delhi iit bombay and uh, iit indore iit kharagpur etc so many uh, and uh, indian institutes as well as uh, isrs and iits are actively exploring the domain of big data even uh, in some small state universities also you will find the researchers of big data so point is that if big universities are doing research then only we should start it is a good thing because as a fresh researcher we don't get enough courage that to start a very new domain in which people are not working or we might be misguided so we should see what is the trend going on and if you are in a good domain if means if you are in a good institute and if you are uh, uh, means uh, well equipped with the tools and techniques uh, funding etc to start the research in a very fresh domain then you can go for and it might be path breaking okay so good luck for that but the as per my information i should say that uh, uh, whenever you are trying research as a fresh researcher you should go that what are the existing trends you should see some of the top notch universities in your country as well as internationally then you should go to some online tools like google scholar there you should search the term then you should see how many research papers are coming on to this and what are the some related domains or topics and then you should see that what are the recently published articles so based on the recently published articles if i say then the effectiveness models on online learning then the research on the mooc teaching quality because based on the mooc model means that so much data is getting generated and again you need to explore it for the effective techniques and development for online teaching etc okay so everywhere where is a concept of uh, big data or the mining of big data you should discuss uh, uh, that particular concept or the paper with your peers and then you need to find that whether it is suitable according to my interest or not okay so in this way i have uh, suggested you but additionally if you have some sort of information at your side related to the thing that uh, uh some things that uh, haven't mentioned in this particular video please let me know because uh, uh, as we discuss the things we get to know some more things and many times we skip many good things and uh, perhaps due to mutual uh, discussions only we get to know some more new good things so i expect that you will comment down below and you will let me know that what are the missing things uh, then we will try to improve the analysis of our future videos thanks for watching this video happy learning